Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to another video In this video I'm going to show you how I did a little transformation of our entryway For the longest time I really wanted to make some hooks so we have a space for our clothes however I wanted to do something a little bit more artsy and a little bit more special and browsing to Pinterest I found out there is a thing called wood art and it's so stunning that's why I decided to do my own this project might seem a little bit difficult and overwhelming at first however don't be discouraged and if you have extra help it's totally achievable it looks super nice on the wall and it's totally customizable as well so let's get started unfortunately i don't have a studio to work on my projects so i have to work at home inside and to protect the wooden floor i will cover it with a cardboard piece that i have for a while now and it does the job perfectly as you can see this cardboard went through a lot of projects i have paint on it but it does the job really nice for the base of this project i'm going to use a board which is one meter by 40 centimeters on the short side but you can use whatever you find and whatever fits your space before recording this video i already did one of the boards the process is absolutely the same i started with the frame i measured and cut at 45 degree angle for strips of wood i use this little angle cutting device i don't know the name but it's very helpful you're also going to need a wood saw now i'm going to take a sanding paper this one is already used but i can think i can use it again and i won't sand everything but i want to sand these edges a little bit because some of them are pretty rough
for a spacer I used one wooden strip. I was thinking if you want a smaller spaces between the pieces you can turn the wooden strip on its shorter side. However, I want to stain the board today so I can leave it overnight and before I start I want to show you how it turned out. So this is how the board turned out. It's very abstract. My boyfriend helped me a lot with the vision and about the building process it felt a lot like building a puzzle. The only section I don't really love is this little piece right here. It doesn't make a lot of sense, but I can't remove it now, so I think once it's painted it will be good. Before I start staining, I really want to sand any imperfections like pencil marks or if there are any rough edges here and there so let's do that and then we'll stain the piece For the staining I used a brush because it was easier to apply between the gaps. To be honest with you, I was very frustrated with applying the stain and like a smooth surface this time it was super difficult to work with. I wished I used a wood oil or something more liquidy but it's done. <laughs> Once I painted a couple of coats it grew on me. Good morning, I'm having a cup of coffee, the board is already dry and I want to show you how it looks. It is finally time for placing the boards on the wall. You definitely need help with this part. I was not very confident with this process. Not confident at all because mm, there are cables inside the wall and I was super scared to drill through them. Luckily, I didn't. Let me tell you a little bit more about the handles I chose. Actually they are from Aliexpress. I didn't find a good looking and good quality handles in a local shop. So I opted to buy them online and they, they're pretty good quality actually. There are so many sizes and colors. I will leave a link to the shop that might be 
helpful to some of you. The final two steps which I forgot to film is painting the screws with black acrylic paint so they are not that visible and touch up the dirty spots on the wall with latex paint. That completes the entrance. The next step will be to make a little storage and a bench for the shoes, but that will be another video. I learned a lot during the process. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and find it helpful. See you in the next video and have a great day. Bye bye.